Hello, this is Oxab and welcome to my tutorial on electricity. What is there to say about electricity? First off, it's it's energy it's, and it's not like water that I did a tutorial on before. It doesn't have any mass. It's just energy, so it's not like affected by gravity. And it's not affected by uh, certain things like it's affected by the environment, but it's not affected by like other forces like wind and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. First off, I'm going to show you this thing I made a while back. Like this was from another electricity tutorial I made before I knew what I was doing. Um, what is there to say about this one? It looks fine, I guess, but if you were to remove all these particles outside of, like at the ends of each one of these lightnings, it would practically just look like misshaped tentacles or something. Because I made them follow a pattern, like I just made them look like wavy ropes, and I noticed that a lot of people like followed that from that tutorial and just made it even more like so, like just waving ropes with particles in the end. I mean, it's a okay effect, but it's not really what we want. Here is another example I made today. And as you can see, I should probably lock the layers. As you can see for this one, it doesn't really follow a pattern as much as the other one does. It still has like a, this wave, wavy feel to it. I'm gonna draw because I'm not sure if the cursor is gonna show. It still has like the wavy feel to it and how it like continues on the same waves, but not as consistently because this one it moves a lot of to the it moves a lot to the sides and it it breaks up and sometimes it moves faster sometimes it slows down and also it's not as smooth as I made the other ones I actually made this one a lot more edgy and when you look at it like this it looks a it looks more chaotic, in my opinion at least. You can tell me what you guys think. So this is what I would say a better example than the previous one on how to animate uh, electricity lightning effects. Here is another one which is from an animation I made where he charges up like an electric attack. And this one is even more chaotic I'll export it so you can see how it looks when it's played in normal speed. And as you can see, there's a lot of blinking in and out here as well. And you can see here, here's a lightning right here. It's uh, It has a shape. And then here it's gone. It's not there anymore. And another one appeared here. And then this one sort of came back, but in a different pose and they both disappear here. There's nothing, it's only one little dot here. And then they came back, and here they blink in and out back and forth. That makes it look very, very chaotic, but still very, it's hard to explain, but it, it feels like it's a lot more random and that it actually acts like electricity. So that's a technique I figured out. I'm not sure where I got it from. But yeah, uh, also these lightnings that show up. This is a way you could animate actual thunder on. Like just make a huge lightning appear and blink and then fade out. That looks kind of cool. And you can do that like for background, the thunder strikes and stuff. And also what really helps because here it's just, done, it's just brush strokes as of yet. But adding glow to it, adding a glow effect, is what does a lot to it. Here I added some glow and it looks a lot more flashy. And also having like a central point where 
uh, the electricity is striking or where it's coming from having that give a distinct glow as well and also when I did a lot of this blinking when a lightning fades out if you look at this particle here each frame it's blinking and so then it can stay for two frames like here and then it keeps blinking and disappearing yeah that's this is probably my favorite way of animating lighting because it goes quite quick and it looks really cool and also an example for making very powerful lightning attacks lightning strikes sort of this is also from an, one of my popular animations where he charges up and then he just launches this huge lightning ah uh, why can't i scroll scroll there and for this one i did a lot of double framing and there's no like blinking or anything just a huge lightning and i didn't even move it that much like it has this shape similar to like it doesn't change much from this frame to this frame but the way I made this look cool because if I just played it like this it actually looks a bit bland like I, I suppose it's still cool but effects can fix everything so I added like this glowing balls for some reason and some glow effects some sparklings to the ground even more sparkles and a glow effect there a uh, glow effect from where it's coming from and a shockwave where it strikes down and when you play it it looks very fancy and also when you add camera shakes to this it looks really sweet uh, I'm not really sure what to say about uh, the like the method of drawing it but what I usually do is that I just draw a shape like this with the pressure pressure tool and then I go back once I finish the movement of the lightning and I make the edges more pointy and I add some extra small lightnings in between just to make it look more artistic and what I aim for when I animate lightning is that I want you to be able to pause at any frame of the the animation or the lightning part and whenever you pause I still want it to look cool for that one frame like every frame I want to look artistic that is something you can aim for when you try to animate lightning and there are a lot of different ways lightning can look but yeah just try to make it look artistic with whatever style you're doing it uh, I don't know what much else to say uh, so I'm just gonna show you a time lapse of me animating this so you can see the actual process. Thank you!